Well, hello, I'm Jeff Zwerink, and thank you for joining our conversation today. We've got Dr. Leslie Wickman in studio, and we're going to be exploring the question of what would happen to Christianity if we find life out there? Leslie, great to have you again today. Great to be here, Jeff. So you've made statements before, and statements that I agree with, that you'd almost be surprised if there weren't life out in the universe. Yeah. Uh, a lot of skeptics, a lot of Christians think yeah. if we find life, that's problematic. So what's your take? Do you think we'll actually find life or not? Well, I again, I, I think I'd be surprised if there weren't other life out there. I don't know if we will, um, but like I said, I think I'd be surprised just because my view of God is so big mm -hmm. um, that I think he's so creative that, you know, one one instance of human life in history uh, seems a bit small for him. All right. Very good. <laughs> so I want to kind of hone in on one specific question for a little while. And that is, if we find life out there, how does that reconcile with what we find in the Bible? I mean, we don't find any description of any life out in the cosmos anywhere in scriptures. Yeah. Seems like that'd be important enough God might mention that to well, us. Well, it's interesting, right? I mean, the uh, scripture, I think first and foremost, is um, about knowing God and um, geared toward our relationship with him. Okay. Um, so scripture doesn't say anything one way or the other about life elsewhere, right? But, you know, I look at John three sixteen, which is, you know, a central verse to the Christian faith of for God to love the world that he sent his son. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the word in the original Greek for world is cosmos. Mm -hmm. So for God so loved the cosmos that he sent his, his son to save us, essentially. So to me, that kind of like, wow, is is that referring to possibly life elsewhere? You know, that's very speculative, <laughs> right. but it's certainly referring to all of God's creation. And so to me, if he's referring to Christ coming to redeem all of creation, if there is life out there somewhere other than planet Earth, then that applies to that life as well. So I'm not troubled by it in the least. And, you know, C.S. Lewis has explored that idea a bit, too, with his space trilogy. Right. <laughs> um, and anyway, I just, like I said, I don't have a problem with it. I think that, like I say, if, if God did create life elsewhere, then it, it falls uh, into the salvific mm -hmm. provision of Christ. So there, there's there been a uh, common illustration or, or a narrative or a story. It's like, you know, if aliens came, landed on the White House lawn, that all all the world's religions would have to be rewritten. Hmm. Um, I tend to disagree yeah. with that. I have I know how I would respond to right. that. But I'm curious, how would you respond to that if you're going to say, hey, this is, as a Christian, how I would think about this or what would be going yeah, on there? exactly. And again, I think, you know, that Christ's redemption extends to all of creation. And we, you know, we're obviously, as humans, and the only life that we know of, it's, I think, somewhat natural for us to kind of uh, perceive it in a mm -hmm. very ethnocentric way, a okay. you know, human-centric, anthropocentric way. But I think, you know, even, even uh, the scriptures that we have describe um, the redemption not only of human an, humanity, but of you know all of all of creation groans for um, mm -hmm. for Christ's return and redemption, right? And so um, I think that there's a broader theme there, and so that's what I would bring to the table is like, hey, you know, um, Christ's redemption is for the entire cosmos, mm -hmm. not just for humans on the earth, and certainly. Um, it applies to the rest of creation. So say there were these aliens that came and okay. showed up here. What do you think they would say to us? Because it seems to me there's an assumption of what the aliens would say in the question, I think. And so I'm curious, what do you think the aliens, if they came, what would they be saying to us? Right. They, uh, they might be asking us about our view of God. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is, a, is, this is a conversation I really haven't thought too much about. Right. Well, that's, that's, what, that's but, what I like about it. Yeah, so. exactly. Um, and, you know, it may turn theological really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it might be, might be really interesting to just kind of uh, exchange views on, hey, you know, what, is, what are your theological beliefs, you know, and, and let me tell you about mine. Mm -hmm. um, and see how well they comport, you mm -hmm. know, and... And I think certainly um, the story of origins might be extremely similar. You know, um, right. 
uh, the universal or origins, if, if they're a, a technologically advanced enough civilization to be able to come to Earth, mm -hmm. then certainly they understand things about uh, uh, the cosmos and, you know, the uh, universal mechanics, right? Right. And so we could expect them to have a similar um, uh, origin story, at least from a cosmological perspective. Right. So it'd be really interesting to kind of compare notes on that. It's like, okay, if there was a if there was a Big Bang beginning in time to our universe, what does that say about something coming to into existence that never existed prior? Right. Right. And gotcha. and the cause, the cosmological pr uh, argument that talks about you know anything that becomes uh, that comes into existence must have a cause. Right. So. I think it'd be super interesting to have kind of a philosophical and theological conversation and, and see where our common uh, understandings are. Right. You know, and I, I know you've mentioned before in, in other talks where I've done with you, that you there's this, this idea you have and, and from an early age that what God created we're going to see to be consistent. Yeah. How do you see that playing out here? Because there are, there are some Christians who or, or would think that finding aliens is contrary to Scripture, and so you'd see this tension between yeah. Revelation. Uh, I, I, you've kind of answered that. I guess yeah. I'm kind of looking for a summary statement of how you look at that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I just, like I said, I don't see, I think, I guess at the bottom line really is we can trust God's revelation of himself. Mm. We can trust God's revelation of himself through scripture. We can trust God's revelation of himself through his creation. He's, we know his character to be mm -hmm. one of uh, integrity and consistency, constancy. Uh, and so we can expect those two sources of revelation to reinforce and support each other. So I don't think we have anything to be worried about about anything that we might uh, discover mm -hmm. in the physical world uh, taking us by surprise. It may take us by surprise, mm -hmm. but I don't think we have to worry about it uh, because it's all part of God's creation, and therefore it's going to faithfully re reveal who he is. And you know, we, we, we need to do the work to mm -hmm. figure out how it fits together with Scripture. But I don't think we have to have any fear about that because God is the source of both sources of revelation, right? So. Well, thanks, Leslie. Very powerful. I, lo I love the discussion. You know, if you found this conversation interesting, go to reasons.org, search for Leslie Wickman. You'll get a lot more resources like this that will encourage, equip, and challenge you to think about who God is.